Hello everyone. In this video, we will briefly discuss about the CBNAT of the cartridge-based nucleic acid amplification test for the diagnosis of tuberculosis. The CBNAT test has been endorsed by the WHO and the Government of India as the initial diagnostic test for tuberculosis. The CBNAT test detects mycobacterium TB which is the bacteria which causes tuberculosis and it simultaneously detects resistance to rifampicin which is the most important medicine for the treatment of tuberculosis. The CBNAT test can be performed on two platforms. The most common platform which is used is the gene expert. The other platform on which a CBNAT can be done is a true NAT platform. Now let's discuss what are the advantages of doing a cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test or a gene expert test. The gene expert test is a very accurate test. Now previously we used to use sputum smear examination for diagnosis of TB. A sputum requires approximately 10,000 bacilli per ml to be positive. Now, in comparison, the gene expert can be positive even if the, the load of the bacteria is as low as 100 bacilli per ml. Hence, gene expert is something which is very accurate. The second advantage of the gene expert test is that it detects rifampicin resistance in addition to detection of TB bacilli. Now this is very important because rifampicin resistance is a marker for MDR tuberculosis and doing it up front can tell us on day one whether the patient has a drug sensitive TB or a drug resistant tuberculosis. The other advantage of a gene expert or the CBNAT test is that it is quite simple to perform. The sample is taken from the tube and it is fed into the gene expert cartridge and the cartridge is then inserted into the machine. The rest of the test is automated and hence it requires very less interference from the technician and hence it can be done at very peripheral centers and that makes it quite, quite easy to perform and it makes it a point of care for the diagnosis of TB. The third advantage of a gene expert test is that it can be performed on various samples. Conventionally, we use a sputum sample if the child is able to expectorate sputum. But if the child is not able to produce sputum, we can use a gastric lavage or an induced sputum sample. In case we are not able to find the bacteria on the induced sputum or the gastric lavage, we can even put a bronchoalveolar lavage sample after doing a bronchoscopy. Other samples which can be used on a gene expert test are pleural fluid, peritoneal fluid, we can use the CSF, we can use lymph node aspirates. Hence the gene expert test is a very versatile test, it is easy to perform, it can be performed accurately at any peripheral center. And hence, it has been recommended that any child or adult who is being diagnosed with tuberculosis should get a gene expert test on day one before the treatment is started. Thank you.